What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to this episode of Restorations with Vic. What I have for you guys today are these Air Jordan 9 anthracites that need some work. We're gonna show you guys a proper way to clean up the shoe because it does contain some very delicate materials. We're also gonna repaint the midsoles, remove the creasing from the toe boxes, and bring the original color back to the suede. We got some work, so let's get started. First things first, we're gonna put this shoe to the side since we're only gonna be working on the right shoe for before and after purposes. Next, you're gonna wanna remove the shoelaces. Next, we're gonna pop in our adjustable rejuvenator shoe tree and adjust it to the size. This will help us reshape the toe box on this nine. All prepped, ready to go. Like I mentioned, this shoe does contain a delicate material, which is a suede. If I get any kind of solution or water on the material, it'll completely get ruined. It'll almost turn leather. I don't want that to happen. I want this way to come back to life. So we're gonna be using the dry cleaning method for this shoe. We'll be using a saw bristle brush with no solution or water, and we're simply gonna brush off all the dirt. Make sure to have a lot of patience for this step. All done brushing the suede, we got rid of all that dirt and dust that was covered all over the suede. The suede is still buttery soft like its original texture, but it is super faded. No worries though, we'll fix that later in this video. What we're gonna move on to is some more cleaning. On these soles, we are gonna be using solution and water and our stiff bristle brush, but we're gonna wanna be very careful at not getting any of the solution and water to drip onto the uppers and potentially ruining the suede. All done with the stiff bristle brush, let's move on to the last brush, which is our medium bristle. We'll use this brush to lightly go over these midsoles without getting any solution on the uppers. All right, you guys, this shoe is good to go. It's fully cleaned up. It's not drenched, but we still have to let it dry for a few minutes because we're gonna come back and go straight to work on these midsoles. The cleaning process on the shoe is completely good to go. Now let's move on to some restoration work. We're gonna jump straight to the midsoles on these shoes. Usually when I'm trying to strip the paint, I use acetone and cotton balls or Daddy Z spray. For this one, I'm not gonna bother using any one of those methods. I'm just gonna use a sandpaper method. The reason is the paint isn't cracking on the shoe. It's actually fading off. It's a really tough paint to try to remove. It's like a latex type of paint. So the best way to go about it is by setting off the finish and setting down the rougher areas. We'll do it with the 400 grit. If it's a little too rough, we'll work our way up to 600 grit. Prepper is good to go on these midsoles. We got them nice and smooth, got rid of the factory finish. It's ready for the new paint job. But before we do that, we gotta tape off the uppers and soles. Shoe is taped and paper toweled up. Now let's lay down our paint. Originally, I thought these midsoles were all black, but the closer I look at them, it actually has a metallic finish on them. So we're gonna be using this pre-mixed black metallic color. 
Um, the colors I use was just black and silver, super easy. We'll be using my airbrush. Paint job is a wrap, looks nice and smooth. The last step you gotta do is protect this paint job and recreate the factory finish using some crystal clear glossy finish outside. Mitts are fully repainted. I love the glossy finish on these, they look factory. Now moving on to the last step, the uppers. The uppers are pretty faded. There are two options we can do to bring them back to life. We can re-dye them or use our rejuvenated Almighty Mink Oil. I'm not gonna re-dye them for one reason only. If I re-dye them black, it's gonna totally change the look of the shoe. It's not supposed to be black. It's more of a charcoal, gray, blackish faded color. If I lay down the black, it's just gonna look off. I don't want that. We wanted to keep it original. So we'll use our Almighty Mink Oil for this shoe. We're gonna spray it a few times, then brush it in, and that's how you get some awesome results. This way it's good to go, it's back to its original factory color. Now the last step you gotta do is lace it up. All right guys, that's gonna bring us to an end on this full restoration on these Air Jordan 9 anthracites. Let's break down exactly what I did to revive them. The first step I did, was we'll use our four ounce rebrush shoe cleaning kit to fully clean up the shoe. On the uppers of the suede, we use a dry cleaning method by only using a soft bristle brush. Then we brushed off all the dirt and grime. Then we moved on to our medium bristle brush and our stiff bristle brush along with our solution and water to clean up the midsoles and soles. Also, we use our shoe trees to get rid of the creasing off the toe boxes. That completed the cleaning process. Once that was good to go, we moved on to the midsoles. We prepped them using the sandpaper method. Then we taped them up, laid down our custom pre-mixed black metallic paint, laid down a crystal clear glossy finish to recreate the factory finish. After that, we moved on to the uppers, revived the suede using our Mighty Mink Oil. You can find all the stuff you see right here at rejuvenator.com. Use my promo code in the description below to save 10% off your next order. This is Vic, catch you guys on the next time.